Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ayla of the Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. I'm in Kensington Park in London. I'm here with my friends. I have a Cameroonian, a South African, Tanzanian and a Kenyan. They'll be introducing themselves to you. Please um, come along with me. Yo, my name is Vebe James Fanso. I'm a proud gay man from Cameroon. Oh, hi everyone, my name is Pearl Jean Lindy Wekoba. I'm from South African and I'm a non-binary. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Othman, original from Tanzania. I'm proud to be a um, gay one. Yeah, my name is Peter Musau, a proud gay from Kenya. Thank you. This afternoon, I want us to talk briefly about um, our experiences during this lockdown period. Um, our viewers are watching. There are a lot of people here in Britain, across Europe, back home in Africa, yeah. that are viewers and subscribers of our channel. What have been your experiences during this period, James? Thank you very much, Larry, for giving me this opportunity. Well, I'll start by, uh, like I said, I'm Weber James Fanso uh, from Cameroon. During this lockdown, uh, I've uh, encountered a lot of negative impact, as much as positive impact. I'll start with the negative impact. The lockdown have brought a lot of uh, stress. Uh, I've been so isolated. You know, the thing that I used to do before, I don't do them no more because of, you know, isolation. But that's the negative impact. For the positive impact, uh, having a family like Opal out and proud, it brought a lot of positive impact personally to me because they've been of support, like providing the data, you know, food stuff, you know, and also making sure you know that uh, uh, we, we we are fine okay going uh, particularly to you know the the the, the sport aspect whereby we doing push up and some other stuff to take out the stress yeah you know this pandemic uh been, it is brought a lot of disaster in, uh, in, in, in with the, within us but you know with the sport push up and other stuff to have help us to take away this negative imp the negative impact on us mm. so you know in as much as the COVID is have affected us negatively positively I thank God for Opal God sit up there to support us mm. mentally thank you so, Pelgin, uh, James has been involved in uh, push-up challenges during this lockdown. It has uh, helped to reduce uh, the effect of uh, uh, negative health effects and uh, other mental issues. Mm -hmm. What has been your experience during lockdown? Uh, thank you so much, Landre. Uh, well, as I did mention, that I'm South African. So what has happened in my case is that um, obviously I have been in isolation and uh, I did, you know, get the COVID, but I had like a slight symptoms of COVID and I had to isolate for the 10 days. And unfortunately where I live, most of the ladies in the accommodation, they also contracted COVID. So then the isolation became intense. And during that phase, when I was in that isolation, luckily, the Out and Proud African LGBT, they were holding the sessions online where we were joining the Zoom meetings. And during that moment, you know, it gave me that assurance because I had to sort of like join in the Zoom meetings and I'd be able to communicate with my, you know, my fellow friends and my community. And uh, I actually, I healed. I healed, you know, tremendously. It di I didn't take long. So I'm grateful for that. And, um, you know, the positive, negative, for me, is just everywhere. I cannot define exactly. But, yeah, 
it's just it was just a mess let me just say it like that it was just a mess I the covid and we don't need it anymore we don't. yeah no we don't we have to keep um, to the government's guidelines yes social distance. exactly social distancing yes. Osman, what's your experience uh thank you so much uh to give me opportunity my name is Othman. As I say, I came from Tanzania. I'm proud to be a gay man. Uh, my life in lockdown was worse on my side because uh, everything was discarded. And this was very difficult because I'm using just to go out myself to socialize from my, my fellow members. Uh, for example, every Saturday we're using to go to Dini Street and to socialize at the JUI club. But during this lockdown, we wasn't do nothing. So I'm stay at home just to eat and sleeping. So even my, my, my brain wasn't work properly. It's all about stress, anxiety, and depression as well. So thanks Opal, because all the time we keep in touch for us, saying what's happened, are you all right? support us for food, support us for um, just chatting through the Zoom. It's thank nice you. To hear that. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Opa. It's, it's really good to be back out here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Could you tell us, what's your experience like during this lockdown? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I'm honored that we are back. Honestly, during lockdown, I was so much depressed and Opal really supported me. I had kind of, I was so depressed. I even went for, what do you call this mental stuff, uh, scan. Yeah, so the depression was too high, but Opal really supported me, Zoom meetings, Abby used to meet me, talk to me, encourage me. I thank God. Yeah. Thank you very much. What's your experience during this uh, phase when we were locked down at home? Yeah. Hello, everyone. My name is Betty Nachigude, a lesbian from Uganda. Um, my experience via the lockdown was really very good. I really went through a whole lot, a whole lot. Um, first of all, I had an appointment before the lockdown for my operation. And because of the lockdown, things did not work out. All hospitals were closed. And I really went through a whole pain. Um, Doctors were making some scans to see whether I'm still okay. We really made several scans until the lockdown was a little bit opened, so my operation went through. But still, it was really very, very hard, very, very hard life, which I went through. But then I thank my colleagues, my group Opal, and other colleagues, they really helped me via the lockdown. Um, it's like uh, I had no food to eat, but I was supported via food. It's like I had nowhere to live almost, but I was really helped and I was supported. So lockdown was uh, really very, very easy for me. But I thank all the people around me, mostly Opal. They really helped me. They were checking on me all the time and they gave me comfort. So my operation went through and today I'm still going through a whole lot, but at least I'm getting better. And uh, yeah, I just have to thank everybody who was there for me. It's always nice to hear positive um, feedback from members concerning out of proud African LGBTI. Um, there is this issue of uh, this COVID-19, how it can, uh, the, how the effects can be reduced with respect to the vaccination. I have uh, taken uh, the two jabs and uh, in my community, uh, I've got 
two, three, four of members of the community who are uh, not in support of uh, vaccination. But after I've had my jabs, I was able to advise them, look, it's better for you um, to, prevent, to, to save yourself and prevent other people around you. All right, because there was no effect at all. All right, I tell them I took the job, the first one, the second one, there was no negative effect. I want to hear from your side. What have you taken the job if you have taken it? What are the effects, positive or otherwise? James. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Regarding the vaccines, uh, initially I was so scared because of uh, the information that it was going viral. You know, it makes me so, you know, I was so, so scared or afraid to take the vaccine. But you know, I realized that, you know, a lot of people have lost their life because of the pandemic. So I had to take a lead because of my own self. I needed to protect myself, so I went in for the vaccine. And I realized when I went, took the first dose, and uh, it brought you know, a lot of positive impact in me. So um, we encourage everyone that coronavirus is real, they should go in for the vaccine. Thank you. Thank you, James. Pelgin. Yes, uh, for me, to be honest, um, I'm just going to be real. I, I'm an anti-vaccine. Uh, so due to the fact that I've had a lot of history regarding vaccines, that they, they do have a negative impact. And, um, you know, when I joined the Opal, um, you know, Zoom meetings, so that's when I got to realize that there's no need for me to have any fear in regards to being vaccinated. But at first, to be honest, I wasn't, you know, um, interested in doing it. And actually, I had told people that they shouldn't be vaccinated because it's not a good thing. And, uh, you know, the meetings has really helped me. They've really educated me and I've learned so much. So I've moved from being negative and now being positive. And I've taken my first dose and I'm now booked for the second dose for the vaccine. So when I did take the first one, I didn't have any side effects. I still feel healthy, as you can see me now. So I'm looking forward to taking the second dose and I'm encouraging people to go for it. They need not to have any fear. There's nothing wrong with being vaccinated. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Landry. To be honest, to my side, it wasn't wasn't easy okay. it was an easy decision and um, all the time I had the rumors about um, AstraZeneca say for those who took AstraZeneca they got um, problem for blood clots and then several times I'm asking Landry you're my witnesses I say Landry I had something like um, complicated <laughs> in my side about <laughs> AstraZeneca and they said no Othman I'm the one who took it. I say, really? I say, yeah. And then uh, you show me even the picture. Yeah. But the time you took it, say nothing inside effect, nothing. It's, it's only like a street romance, but it's, it's nothing really. So just took it if you can. But it wasn't my, 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 easy, my easy decision just to took it. Thanks God for Opal. Thanks God for Landry for your uh, encouragement, for your opinions, for your assurance. Because you say take it and then nothing wrong. I took it. Um, was um, was 15th April. I took one shot and then I got appointment maybe um, 15th July. I can get it another one. Yeah, so well done. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for your encouragement and Opal as well. Try just to teach us. Yes. See, this is negativity, but uh, millions and millions took it. Mm. But uh, yeah, nothing wrong about yeah, them. Definitely. So, thank you. So, your yes. encouragement it give me a power well and the strength just to go there, just to get <laughs> yes. my shots. Yes. Thank you. Uh, as for me, I've not yet. But because I can see you guys 
you are strong <laughs> eh? you are strong eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> i will <laughs> you are so strong <laughs> you are so strong you know that tiktok we used to there's that tiktok we used to go around and after when you take that you go like <laughs> and i was like no 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 but anyway i'm waiting for under 40 yeah. they said under 40 you're gonna take it anytime mm. yeah. so i'm ready for it yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm ready for it yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's good beautiful. it's beautiful yeah. yeah all right thank you yeah um for me to be honest with you guys i couldn't wait for the vaccine to come out i couldn't i couldn't wait because i waited for a year plus as due to go for my operation yeah mm. so soon as they announced the vaccine is out i couldn't wait to have it and i've already got my first one and i'm due to have my last one on saturday so i'm um, here to advise all my colleagues who have got it who still have that fear like they shouldn't fear they should go for the vaccine it has got no any side effect it's fine thank you so much it's been a very long day, we are about rounding up, but before uh, signing out tonight, I want to hand you over to Pelgin. She has a word or two for our people of African descent who have uh, uh, skepticism concerning these vaccines. Pelgin, yeah. over to you. Thank you so much, Landre. To be honest, I just want to encourage people that, you know what, go out there, go and take the vaccine. It's very, very paramount for people to be vaccinated. By doing that, they will save so many lives, more especially within my community, within my African diaspora, either they are in Africa or all over Europe or all over all the other, uh, um, you know, over abroad um, countries, you need to go and take the vaccine. It's very, very important. At the minute in the UK, they keep talking about the BMI who are anti-vaccine, but let me give you this wonderful word. There's nothing wrong with vaccination. We've been vaccinated since when we were infants. Just go for it. Your lives will never be the same. Thank you. We've heard from James from Cameroon, who was initially skeptical about receiving his vaccination. He's received it. There was no negative reaction. Similarly, we've heard from Pelgin from South Africa, who was anti-vaccine initially. She's received hers, no negative reaction. She has tonight advice Africans, both at home and abroad, to have their own jobs whenever the opportunity beckons on them. We've heard from Usman from Tanzania. He was initially skeptical. Thanks to Art and Proud African LGBTI, he has received his. No reaction. We have heard from Peter from Kenya. He is awaiting his appointment to receive his. We've heard from uh, Betty. She couldn't wait to receive her first job. She received it and she's got appointment for her second job. The consensus this evening is that vac uh, the COVID vaccination ha is doing more good than harm for humanity. So please endeavor to go receive your own job anytime the opportunity comes. Please, please and please. It is better to be safe than sorry. This is Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Keep commenting. Keep sharing. Keep subscribing. We'll be with you next time. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye. One, two, three. We are vaccinated.